We're here at the LG stand here at IFA 2015 and I'm joined by Dr. Nandu from LG to talk about both OLED and of course HDR, two of the sure. big buzzwords at this year's show. Um, starting with OLED, you've just announced some, some new flat panels. Um, what do you think differentiates your OLED models from any other models that are on the market right now? Well, um, I believe that we ha are the only ones who are carrying consumer OLED TVs compared to uh, others who have announced products perhaps but uh, don't have them in the market yet. Um, our OLED TVs, and as you know, we've had them uh, on the market for a while, so we have quite a significant amount of experience with the OLED uh, display technology. Um, in terms of uh, what's available today, in addition to having both flat panel, uh, flat um, format uh, TVs as well as curved ones, and with different um, uh, formats in terms of sizes, 55 inch, 65 inch sizes, uh, 4K as well as a full HD version. So it's a fairly complete um, family of products, if you will. Uh, in addition to that, there have been some significant improvements in the panel performance itself. There's improvements in the SOC uh, in the TV, so they have been significantly enhanced compared to last year's models. With regards to previous models and some of this year's models, there have been comments from some um, consumers and users of dark edges on the left and right and also some banding just above black, it's a sort of fibre cent IRE. Do you have any comment on that? Well, I, um, I don't know of those specific problems, but I do know that we have significantly improved panel performance, so I'm hoping that uh, those kinds of issues would be addressed. Uh, but I don't know uh, specifically if there's been a particular problem and a fix to a particular problem. Maybe we can check with Mike. Um, uh, currently the TV standards are going through big changes. Um, in terms of future proofing, how future proof are, are your OLEDs in terms of things like 10-bit panels, HDMI 2.0a, um, wider color space and obviously HDR? Yeah, so I think, um, you know, in terms of um, what we've shown, uh, especially with respect to the last uh, feature that you mentioned with HDR. Uh, HDR required us to uh, provide a firmware upgrade to the EG9600 series, uh, basically to download a, and implement a new EOTF. The previous EOTF was REC 1886, and the EOTF that's supported now is really compliant with uh, the PQ or the SMPTE 2084 EOTF. And so, um, um, so I think we, we have shown that we can, through firmware upgrades, um, accommodate new EOTFs if and when they uh, um, uh, are standardized. And we expect really uh, some, another at least one EOTF to be standardized soon that's very broadcast specific. Uh, in terms of uh, other aspects of uh, future proofing, uh, the whole idea of supporting HDMI 2.0a is that in the future you can um, get uh, content through various sources, that is HDR, and we have maintained uh, this basic level of interoperability through the use of uh, these basic uh, fundamental uh, technologies of HEVC Main 10. Um, the uh, SMPTE 2084 EOTFs, SMPTE 2086 metadata handling and MaxFall, MaxCLL, both at the IP level as well as over HDMI. So that, sh that should be, we think, adequate future proofing in addition to the EOTF upgrade option that we have. Are the panels 10-bit panels? Uh, the panels are 10-bit panels. The OLED panels are 10-bit panels, yes. And in terms of color space, could they hit DCI or P3? Uh, right now, we are, uh, I believe, around 90% DCI P3. I mean, we uh, it's interoperable with BT 2020 content, with the BT 2020 um, um, representation space, so color being represented in that space. But the size of the gamut today is uh, I would say about 90% uh, DCI-P3, close to that. And next year we expect to be close to a full DCI-P3. So uh, we do expect to improve in terms of color gamut every year. Okay, and now the, um, so you said there's an upgrade for the EG960 range. Will the new flat panels that have been announced at EFA, will they also be supporting HDR? Uh, yes, all the new um, uh, OLED TVs uh, will, the 4K OLED TVs will have HDR capability. That's right. Dr. Nandu, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.